everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to Today I Feel Like. Today we are going to take a look at the MCO Plus WMU48. This is a wireless microphone, but it is not like some of the other ones I've reviewed recently that run on the 2.4 gigahertz network or, or uh, bandwidth. This is a UHF microphone. This is gonna give you much more range and a much more stable signal. We're gonna unbox it, test it out, try it out, see how it performs, and here we go. Okay, let's go ahead and just take a quick look around the box here, and we can see that this is the UHF WMU48. This is a UHF dual channel wireless microphone. It says it has 50 meters of operating distance, four to six hours of operating time. We get an idea of what the microphones actually look like there. And on this side, just a little bit about uh, the company where they're from. Looks like they are uh, from Hong Kong there. And yeah, uh, on this side, a little bit of a, a same information there. It tells us we have the receiver with 48 channels, transmitter with 48 channels, uh, and uh, yeah, okay. And then this side, some of their social media tags, so you can check those out if you're interested. And uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and get this box uh, opened up here and see what we are going to get inside. And uh, looks like there is a case. It looks like there is a user manual here as well. Um, we'll set that off to the side. Um, yeah, nice looking case. It's very just nondescript, uh, no branding on here or anything. Uh, nice little handle that you can, or a little uh, strap there that you can uh, attach to something. It's uh, zippered, so you don't have to worry about it um, coming undone. And But let's go ahead and unzip this and see uh, how this is going to look. And there we go, those are the microphones. Pretty cool looking, they're white, so uh, they're easy to, to find if you ever if you ever lose them in a camera bag or something. Um, they're not too big. I was expecting these to be a little bit bigger. They're not that big, which I actually like a lot because the last thing we need is more bulk in our life for most of us. We don't need that. So um, it has the clip integrated on here so that um, you can mount this onto a pocket or um, this is, let's see, which one is this? Is this a transmitter or the receiver? So I believe this is going to be the receiver. So this should work not only to clip onto a camera bag or something, but you should be able to, be able to also clip this onto a cold shoe of your camera. Um, it says power, it says G1, G2, stereo, and mono. So you can choose how you want your audio uh, send, sent over to the camera there. I'm not really sure what the G1 and G2 is. I'll have to check that out. So we have the, uh, the transmitter here. The transmitter is gonna have a little bit of a screen on there so we can, um, we can see what information is on there. I don't know what information that might be, but we'll check it out when we get it on. Um, we have the, uh, the mic input right there, which is the locking input, which is really nice. So you have to worry about your, uh, your uh, microphone being uh, pulled out of there. You have a power button on the side. This is going to be a, I believe a mode button. And then you have the dial or the left and right thing to switch the modes or the uh, selections there. So um, yeah. On the side, on this one here, I forgot to mention, we also have a power button here and uh, and then, you know, the other switches. So now on both of them here on the bottom, we have a USB-C port on there so that we can charge up. So it says DC five volt, it's gonna have an internal battery, um, you know, so that we can actually get these things charged up and, uh, and going, so. All right, um, we also have what looks to be, oh, okay, here it is. This is actually a little mini, um, a little mini uh, cold shoe adapter. So this is actually gonna go onto the receiver here. I believe it's gonna go right there and then you can tighten this down and get that going. So let's see, we'll just get that tightened in. We'll lock that in a little bit so that um, it's nice and tight there and it doesn't move. And now we can easily mount this onto our um, onto our cold shoe or the hot shoe of our camera. This is really, that's a really slick idea right there. I like that, how they did that because I mean, I could use this for multiple things. I don't know who thought of that, but that was, that's a pretty nice idea. The only thing I wish, I wish this was made out of metal instead of plastic, because this is made out of plastic, but I imagine they're trying to keep the weight and the cost down. So, all right, let's see what else we get in here. 
Um, it looks like this is going to be, um, it looks like this is probably going to be a microphone here. Yep, so this is going to be a microphone and we're going to try this out and see how it sounds. And the reason for that is, is because unlike some of these other microphones that we've had, this one requires a microphone to be plugged in. It doesn't have an integrated microphone. So, um, but it does have that twist lock on there so that you can uh, lock that in. So you don't have to worry about your cable being pulled out, your microphone being pulled out by yourself or your talent or whoever else this thing is, uh, is mounted onto. So we'll leave that there. Um, it looks like we are going to have something else. I don't know what this, probably a charging cable. So, yep, there we go. We have a charging cable. This is a USB-A to USB-C there. So we'll, uh, we'll get that going. Um, it looks like this is, I'm not sure what this is here. Let's see. This is going to be a, um, this is going to be another audio cable. Oh, two more, it looks like. We have one for phones, which is kind of cool. So this is going to be the three-lined one. And we have another one for cameras. So, okay. So we have one for phones, one for cameras. And we have our infamous silica gel. <laughs> Ever present, always there. I just, I don't know why I got a kick out of the silica gel, but there it is. All right. Now, the only thing that I think that's sort of missing about this is they only gave us one USB-C cable, which means you have to charge these separately. You can't charge them at the same time. Some people give you cables that have like two USB-C uh, ends on there, but this one's only giving us one cable, which means we're gonna have to charge one and then charge the other. And that's really unfortunate because that means you have to remember to unplug one and plug the other one in. So, but you know, I guess that is what it is. All right. Let's go ahead and just turn these on and see if we get any, if there's any power. It looks like we do have power in there. This one, you can see the light light up on the side. This one, we can see it light up here. And it looks like I have a full battery on this one. And uh, it looks like I might actually already be uh, ready to go. So um, let's see, what, which one is it selected? So it looks like, I'm not sure how to select, let's see, it's like I can hit this button there and it looks like it says G1, G2. I'm not sure which one's which. I may have to read some of the instructions to get this going. Again, you can have the stereo, you can have mono. I'm gonna leave it on mono because I like having mono with this uh, sent to dual channels, so to both channels, so um, yeah. Okay, oh, one thing I didn't uh, mention here, which I see at the top is on the output, you have your output for your, uh, for your line going to your camera, and then you also have a, a headphone jack so you can monitor your audio. Now, this is really, really nice because if you are someone who has a camera that does not offer uh, a headphone jack, some cameras offer a microphone port but not a headphone jack, so you can't monitor your audio, you will be able to monitor, it, uh, monitor your audio through the receiver here. So that's really, really nice. So, yeah, okay, here we go. Let's, uh, now that we have everything unboxed and ready to go, let's just go ahead and hook it up to uh, my, my camera inside here and try this out and see how it performs. And then we'll take it outside and we'll uh, we'll test it out and we'll see what the range is going to be like on these uh, on this wireless microphone system. All right, so I went ahead and hooked the microphone up. I have it right here on me. You might be able to see it. I'm tapping it there, so you can probably hear that. It sounds terrible when you tap a microphone, but yeah, I have it right there and it's it's working fine. I mean, I have to say that so far. I plugged it in. I made a quick adjustment to the uh, to the gain so that it wasn't uh, it wasn't clipping. The audio wasn't clipping. But what I can uh, so what I can see right now from the levels is that it is very easy to adjust, and the levels look like they're pretty solid right now. So um, yeah. Anyhow, I have it mounted right on top of my Sony A7R3. I'm using it indoors right here right now. So. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this microphone, uh, I'm going to take the receiver and hook it up to my Sony uh, A7S III. I'm going to take it outside, try it out, and see how it performs outside and just do a little bit of a distance test and see uh, when I walk away how it performs. I'm going to turn my back on it so I break line of sight with the transmitter and the receiver, see if the signal falls out like it does with some of the 2.4 gigahertz uh, wireless mics and uh, see if it performs better and gives me a little bit more range. So uh, yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and uh, head outside and try it out. All right, so I'm outside here now and I have my camera set up with the microphones. It's a little windy and so you might hear a little bit of wind noise on here. 
Um, the microphone just comes with a foam wind puff. It doesn't have a furry dead cat on there. So if you have a lot of noise, a lot of wind and you're getting wind noise, you might either need to hide your microphone underneath your clothing or you might need to get yourself a uh, furry uh, wind puff, a little uh, dead cat to put on top of the microphone. So I'm going to go ahead now though and test the range and I'm going to back up now. I'm about, uh, I'm probably about a little more than arm's length apart, well more than arm's length, I'm probably about two arm lengths away from the camera. So I'm probably about six feet away already. So I'm going to go ahead now and just back up and walk a bit and I'm going to back up here and just keep going back. I don't know how far I'm going to go. I'm just going to keep going back and back and back and back and back and, uh, and see how far I can get. And uh, I never really get this kind of range when I'm using a uh, 2.4 gigahertz uh, microphone. So I'm expecting that this one's going to perform better anyway. So here I am way back here and I'll go back to this car right here and uh, see how this one, how this uh, is right here, if I'm still getting a signal. Now, one of the main problems I get with uh, using the other microphone systems is when I turn around and break line of sight that the signal falls out. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn around and here we are. I have turned around now and you should still be able to hear me. Hopefully you can still hear me, but um, if not, well, we'll know if the things are working right or not. So anyways, let's go ahead now I'm going to walk back again and we'll see how this is and the wind kicked up again so you might hear more of the uh, more of that wind noise if the wind puff on here isn't working very well so um, yeah all right let's just go ahead and uh, and walk back and we'll get up to about right here and there we go so I am uh, back right in front of the of the camera and the transmitter and the receiver both have line of sight. I just have the uh, transmitter in my pocket right here. So yeah, there is a little small antenna on there, but hopefully we didn't have any signal fallout and it uh, worked well. If it did, well, I guess I'll know when I start uh, reviewing the footage and then you'll know when you watch this video. But um, now one other thing that this, um, that this microphone system can do is that it can go from mono to stereo. Now, I'm not sure if you need to have a specific microphone for that or this one will work with this microphone that's included will work both in mono and stereo. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and switch it over to stereo and we'll take a listen to that and see how that sounds in comparison to using the mono mode. Okay, so I went ahead and switched the microphone over to stereo, except now it seems that I'm only getting um, audio on one channel. So um, yeah, I'm not really sure why that is with uh, stereo, but it seems like I'm only getting um, audio coming through on one channel with the stereo mode. So I think I'm going to go ahead and switch it back to mono, but I did want you to hear what this sounds like if you have the stereo mode on. Now I think what this is, is you're going to have to plug in an actual stereo microphone to get this to work. So if you have a stereo microphone, some people actually have lavaliers that are, uh, that are designed to work with, that have two microphones, uh, two microphone capsules on there so that you can actually have a stereo signal. So some people like that, but I just want you to hear what this sounds like when it's on the stereo mode. All right, so I'm back in the house here and I have to say that I played back some of the footage from this microphone outside and yeah, I am impressed. I really like the fact that it has really good range. It does. I think the microphone sounds good. Um, I think the transmission is really strong, so I'm getting that nice range. In fact, I, uh, I checked the distance. I used the app, the measure app on my iPhone to check the distance between my camera and where I stopped at earlier uh, when I was outside. It was about 91 and a half feet, so we're talking about 30 meters. And yeah, it's the microphone says that you should get 50 meters. So getting 30 meter, 30 meters easily, I believe I can, I can get the 50 meters, assuming there are no obstructions or interference or anything like that. So now that's important because if you are someone who generally uses like those 2.4 gigahertz microphones where the mic is actually included in it, usually you don't get anywhere near that range. And once you, uh, and once you put any sort of obstruction in the way, it just, the, the signal just falls out. That's including even your own body. So if you turn and break line of sight with the uh, tramp between the transmitter and the receiver, you'll end up with a signal fallout. So yeah, with the UHF uh, uh, wireless microphone system like this, uh, MCO Plus, 
uh, WMU48, you don't have those issues. You get a much stronger signal with a UHF uh, a wireless microphone system. You can go longer distances, you can go uh, around walls, all kinds of stuff. So it's really, really fantastic. So yeah, anyways, um, there are a couple things I don't like about this microphone uh, system. One of them is on the transmitter, the power button doubles as a mute button. I don't like that because I accidentally hit it. I accidentally hit it already and put it on mute. I really wish that that button was separate. I wish that it was actually a switch that was sort of difficult to activate so you don't accidentally hit the mute button or activate the mute on there. That's the last thing you want is to have your audio muted accidentally. Um, also, I don't like the wind puff on the microphone. It's very easy to come off. Actually, on the way back into the house from shooting outside, the microphone, the, uh, the wind puff on the microphone came off. I actually had to go back out and look for it. I've had microphones that have done this before and eventually because I end up losing the wind puffs and having to buy new ones or go back and look, in, and look for them again, I end up just switching microphones because it gets frustrating after a while. So I wish they had a different uh, capsule on the microphone that used a different type of wind puff. So yeah, anyways, there you have it. I'm gonna leave links to this product down below in the video description so you can check it out. I'm also gonna leave links to my Amazon page and my social media contacts so you can reach me elsewhere if you're interested. I'm also going to say, hey, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. <laughs> also, please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. And I am Larry with Today I Feel Like. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace. <laughs>